Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. We are streaming. I thought I'd had a few extra hours to, or an hour or so, but you know what? It's something. So I thought I'd go on and see what we were doing today. Uh, this is part of the Plains Talkers podcast stream. So make sure that you guys uh, like, click, and subscribe, etc., etc. I'm just going to make sure everything's up and running. Been a while since I did this. So. Let's see what's going on. Like, uh, just a redemption arc for all yeah. these yes. guys coming together. When I created Mythic Quest, I wanted to build my legacy. Our legacy. Our legacy, whatever. This office is insane! Hey, can I get a coffee? I'm coming on! Let's see what we got here. All right. So, yep, yeah, we are online, it looks like. So, welcome aboard, everybody. So, we're going to do a little bit of... Uh, just a little bit of laddering first. I've been playing around with this mono red deck that I kind of enjoy. Um, and then we'll see what else we got going on. And apparently... Alright, good, it stopped. My synergy was running, so all of a sudden I was having problems. Okay. So let's do some standard rank best of one RDW. Let's see how we do here. And well, I don't like it, but let's keep it a let's give it a shot. Alright. So let's throw the I'm gonna put the splitter out first, because he didn't put anything out of turn one, and if he's gonna hit anything I wanted to hit that. In case he's running a mono red. Interesting. Hmm. Two, two. Hmm. Kind of want to get rid of it. Let's do this. some real power on the board. Go wide a little bit and then bring the flyer back out. Plus I take one of his cards. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? All right. I'm okay with that. Oh, this should be fun. We're racing, and I'm ahead of you, buddy. for four.
nice, good game. It's a very interesting version of Mono Red. Yeah, I'm still sitting at silver, by the way. I don't get to play as much as I like. All right, let's do this again. Ooh, well, well, first we should open the pack, don't you think? With Let's do another one here and then I'll play a different deck. I've got a team of reclamation I put together. So obviously, Fervid Champion, I love this card so very much. And the fact that I have an Ember Cleave is like, okay. Annex would be best here. Well, let's see if he counters it. Quench. Quench. Interesting. So blue-white control. This is not a good matchup. Unless he's playing Azorius Flyers. Well. No, I want to take some stuff. Plus I want to get rid of the Flyer. Oh, thank God. Good. And I can cast a deputy anytime I attack with the rogue, so that's a plus. Oh. What are you thinking? Resolve it. See if he blocks. Alright, so he's out he's out of counter spells, I think. So I feel pretty secure going with Ember Cleave now. Oh, very much so. And I think I'm gonna put it on this so I get the the anti blocking. swing for four every time and not be able to be blocked. Oh, he's going to deputy detention it. Interesting. Not sure that that's what I would have chose, buddy. Okay, he's never played this deck, so I can deputy detention as deputy of detention next turn.
Wasn't your brightest play, brother. Hmm. What are you thinking? Oops. Sorry about that. Or is he thinking about roping? Gets a little salty. Thinks he should rope. Interesting. <laughs> I can live with that. If he's smart, he'll take the dodger. Okay. I'm still swinging it for four that you can't block, dude. You need three mana. You should have took the dodger. Oops. You can't block. Oh, look at you. So he's got the deputy detention. It's going to hit the Embercleave. If he was smart, he'd play that. He might, he might get a shot here. Yeah. You're still on a three turn clock. That was stupid, but... I meant to only attack with her, but... Eh, if I can get something off the board. I mean, he's got plenty of removal, but... Two, four... So he's can swing for six now, and then eight after that, but he's dead in two turns. I would cast at least one of your borrowers. Oh, good game. See, that's why I, I do the, the uh, rogue version of this as opposed to the Rimrock Knight is because I like the interaction with Robber of the Rich as well as the Tin Street. So I think it's kind of six and one half dozen of another. I don't know that there's any numbers as far as which way is better to go. Um, that being said, you know, it's a pretty it's been a pretty good deck for me. A little bit less reliable is this Team Erect deck that I'm playing. I'll show you guys what it's about. Oh, shit. I'll show you deck list next turn. So. Let's see if Aramis is around. I didn't even let him know I was streaming. Well, I guess I can keep this. Well, need the green and the blue, so... Yes, definitely keep that on top. Oh, shit. Playing mono red, though. This is going to be a tough fight. Take an ouchie. Play a spiral. Yeah, because I want the ability to bring it in for... Yes, keep her on top. Oh, you not have anything? That seems unusual. Ooh, okay. Ooh. What are you playing, the... Cavalcade? Yep, Cavalcade version. 
They should be remarkably fun. Why didn't you play those first, dude? You could have done more Anyone damage. Need a fire started? Fire spreads fast with help. Let's see what happens here. It's gonna hit me for six. Wonder why he didn't plus her. No cards for you. I need to gain some life, though. So I gotta play Uro. Find your fires of passion within. I guess I can let it inner tapped. Alright, what are we doing here? What do we do? First things first, let's let's get this out of the way. That's what I thought she'd do. I really didn't want her coming out yet. Let's do this. Let's light it up. Shit. You know what? I'm dead. There's no way I'm coming back from that. There's almost nothing I can draw. Let's try that again. No green. Need to mull. That's a little better. that. Let's bring... Let's save ourselves the uh, life here in case I'm playing red. Nope. No, don't tell me I'm playing elementals. Kill me now. A mirror? That'd be nice.
So he's got counters. Well, let's see what's going on here. Sorry, I'm so quiet. I'm thinking. That was stupid. What, are we both sitting on a fistful of counters, dude? I'll race you to the expansion explosion. He's sitting on a shit ton of counters. Well, let's make him use them. Actually, I'd really rather wait until expansion explode until I have another one. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off. He can hit me for two. Brazen Barrel for you, sir. Unless you have Mystical. Didn't want to use it there because I really wanted to get my wilderness rack out. But I'm gonna make him spend one because he's down to two cards in hand. Spend it. That's fine. So he's playing Cynic Flash. Can't have, you could have another counter, but I doubt it. Tempting. Actually, I need him to, to counter this. Interesting. Three, six, eight. I'll be down to one. I'm beaten. I should be playing best of three with this deck. Take a look at my deck list because I did miss a few land drops and I did pull a few lands down. I put two more islands back in, but my deck list is pretty standard for this deck. So I'm going to put two more lands back in and take out. Oh, 
What was I taking out here? Alright, let's see what we got. You know what? I should do... I don't have that even sideboard ready yet, so... But let's do another one, because these are more interesting than Mono Red, which is pretty much like, Hi, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you. Yeah, St Stormwrath would be nice, but only, I only have uh, two. So that's why Slaying Fire was in there to kind of hold it off, but... Any more wild cards, but again, I haven't played very much. And I didn't buy the pre-bought, you know, the pre-release uh, box set that they were coming up with for the first time, like the 50 bucks. It's really hard for me to justify that because the more I play Arena, the more disappointed I tend to get with it. The fact I don't own anything, the fact that they keep screwing around with things like, you know, drafting and all of that. It's like, I'm not sure I want to throw as much money into this as I might have with, with MTGO. I mean, I love the product, but... Yeah, I keep my vault one full, always so that I can keep track. Um, it's a little thing that you can look up at the vault, and if your vault, if you use your vault and take it down below 100%, it disappears forever. And you have to go looking for logs, or you have to get like a little tracker or something. It's too annoying. Once the vault is at 100, I take a look. When it gets to 200, I'll usually pop it. But this way, you know, it's just it's a little bit of control on it. Oh, frack. Mono white life gain. This will be fun. All right. Well, since this is going to come in tapped anyway, might as well bring this in first. And I'm going to make him wonder what the hell I'm playing. And then I'll crack it for blue. I should crack it for green, though. But I need the blue so it comes in untapped. Yeah, and then I'll put the storm in. Or the stomping ground in. So this is going to hurt, but what are you going to do? So you're going to be up 3, 24. God damn it. Well, might as well now. Holy crap, no, she no kidding. <laughs> he saw a control deck, he got annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. All right. It's not even a control deck. It's just sim you know. So let's see. How's my semi flash look? Take a look at that deck. Oh, this is like wicked old Simic Flash. Like, not the Simic Flash. Oh, no, I gotta really totally redo that deck if I was gonna play it. It's totally not ready. Alright. Eh, for kicks. Let's do some, uh... Let's do some Azorius Flying. Those are always kind of fun. Corgi, I'm glad you're watching, man. Do you watch the podcast? not much better. I'll dump. I ended up dumping one of the lands, which is silly, but... Yep. Nope. I already got one. Bad draws on this one. I'm going to lose pretty bad. Well, we're glad you dropped in, dude. We run a, I run a podcast with another host on Mondays. Uh, not on here, though. It's actually only on Facebook, but we it's a podcast podcast. So, you know, find it wherever you find podcasts. Uh, we're mainly standard, so it's kind of fun that way. So we do a lot of arena talk, things of that nature. 
Oh, great. Sacrifice. This should go well. There we go. I love that card so much. Well, some of it's arena talk. It's mainly standard. Um, oh, let's give him insight, because then I start drawing cards. Plus, it, when he kicks his thingy. Both arena and paper. Uh, you can find us under on Apple or uh, Stitcher or Spotify. It's called Plain Stalkers Podcast. Sorry that I dumped that land. I haven't drawn a land yet. So we mainly do talk standard. I play everything. I, I play a little bit of uh, standard, pioneer, the whole nine. Nope. I'm going to lose the healer's hawk. Because you don't get to... Uh, you don't get to, you know, draw a card. hate this fucking deck so much. Well, let's see what he does. I mainly play Standard and Pioneer. I don't have a lot of Modern because, oh my god, who's got the money? I don't know anybody who has that sort of money. Living I mean, I know quite a few people have that sort of money, but I'm a 46-year-old dude with, awesome. like, you know, wife and three kids, so... Go get him, buddies. I like this deck. I've been playing it for a while, but it's just this would be a bad matchup with bad keep. I shouldn't have. I should have mulled to five. I'm in Albany right now. My co-host is in Albany. He can't play right now. Otherwise, we'd be doing him and I together. So, oh, for frack's sake. Nope. You know what? It's mana screw. I'm at the bottom anyway, so I might as well... Oh, dude, I love for I love Commander. But, again, I have pretty good Commander paper decks. I just don't have a lot of Commander... Um, I have good Commander paper decks. I don't have a lot of the Commander, uh, like, MTGO or anything like that. Well, let's do red, because I need to make myself feel better. So, I mean, I've I've got an Atraxa deck that's a lot of fun. Um, things like that. But it would be hard to do... Commander podcasts seem like they would be tough to do, because there's the occasional, like, news that comes out about Commander. Like, right now with Ikoria, the news is going to be pretty good. But, you know, from a content creation perspective, it's... Like, Commander doesn't... Really is not that dynamic, except for... Hey, these new cards are coming out. You should try playing these. <laughs> you know, that's about it. It's, you know, the one thing I can say about Standard is it does, it is a little bit more fluid. Plus, I mean, the reason we do it is because there were no other Standard podcasts. Honestly, nobody was talking a lot of Standard. I listened to a ton of podcasts. So... Yay, land is good. So he's playing blue-white, which means life gain. So I may throw Tybalt out early. It depends on what he brings out now. Ah, oh, fuck. If he's smart, he takes Tybalt. Took Annex. Okay. Well, he's going to probably do it again. So I'm going to get as much on the board as I can that can do damage. What's your best commander deck there, Cork? Ah, oh, for frack's sake. No, it'll be back. 
Oh, look. It's a guy you didn't want out. Alright, so I'm playing a Doom Foretold deck, which means this is going to go badly if I let this go too much longer. Things have got to start changing real, real quick. Got three in the graveyard. Need to do something. He's going to get rid of Tybalt. He's helping me. Wait, you're freaking helping me, dude. You're putting a fourth card in my graveyard. Thank you. I think that's lovely. Go to town. Thank you very much. <laughs> dude, he's actually helping me. Because if he's playing, he's playing Doom Foretold, there's not a lot of life gain in that deck, I don't believe. Corvold is so much fun. Tuvasa. <laughs> Corvold's just a broken, stupid card. I mean, he's the reason the Sacrifice deck is as good as it is. Like, that's why I play Jun Sacrifice if I play Sacrifice, because he's, he's broken. All right, what's he bringing out? If he brings out blue, it's going to give me a cause to sit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay. So what's he going to do next? Create a wall. That's not going to do any good for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm still doing this one first. He's going to Phoenix me later, but... Or he's going to... Yeah, but if he discards, it just takes me four times to do it. Yeah, one, two, three. That makes Anas bigger. Anex bigger. Three, nine, ten, eleven damage. Dude, you're being... You, this is your fault, my friend. I feel no... Yeah, exactly. Draw and sacrifice together. <laughs> Which, in this meta, especially in standard, with the food mechanic... I mean, it's it's a little less right now, but... Oh, you son of a bitch. That's okay. Got four cards in there. And I get four... <laughs> Oops. Somebody didn't read his thing. <laughs> that's the thing about doom foretold is that if you're playing in a board wipe i mean a board wipe does you no good if annex is out there you got to get rid of annex first <laughs> oh dude i want satyrs to be good for once i mean since i've been playing and i mean i've been playing since off and on since 93 like satyrs have never been good <laughs> Yeah, you know, they've just always kind of been. Eh. What do we got here? What do we got? Now, usually with mono red, here's the thing: with mono red, I usually am like, "Hey, let's keep it. It's two hand." Eh. But, eh, screw it. It's mono red. We're keeping it. <laughs> All right, dodgy. Hit you for one. You know now what you're dealing with. Oh, shit. Another Doom Foretold deck. Maybe. Or Black-White. That would suck holy balls right there. Ooh. What do we got here? Alright, I'll live with it. Keep even just a lay in hand. Not so much in this new Mono Red. Uh, the problem is, is that you really want Annex out there. You need to get your Devotions up. So, it's kind of like... You gotta be very, very careful. Now with this, I'm really glad I have him in the main deck. The only thing to fear is I high adore an audience. Oh, I took a mortify from him. Good, 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 good. So with this, you really do want at least a two land hand. What's nice is that he cannot gain life right now. Oh, thank you very much. Somebody up there likes me. Hmm. Do I make it so he can't be blocked? No. Not at all. Now I'm taking two cards from him. He's going to quit. 
Do you double block? Interesting. Eh, I really want to keep it. I like taking your cards. I'll lose a life on that. That was the point of that, is that you don't get your life gain. Let's see what you got now. Uh. <laughs> Jesus. It just doesn't seem fair. All right. Taking seven of his cards. <laughs> oh, jeepers, that's awesome. Uh, I won't do that. Mm, let's bring out the devil. My friend is here to help your pain. He's not going to be able to get through. And I'll do the damage to him. And that should end his game. Oh, Tesa, damn it. Oh, thank you. I should, do, should just do Phoenix of Ash. He can't block a flyer. Two, three, four, five. He's gonna be down to two. Now he's gonna get to gain life again. That's the problem. I might have got a little cocky on this one. But we'll see what happens. He can't swing he can swing him with one, he's not gonna swing him with both. He's gotta be able to stop a flyer or remove it. That's what helps. That helps me a ton, actually. Can I do four damage? Three. That gets plus one. That gets plus two. So four. Yeah. He can stop a flyer, though. I should be smart. Get him down to one. You're going down to one no matter what you do, dude. Yeah. He can't block a flyer now. I could swing him for four. Shit. We got another flyer. Oh, Jesus. Somebody up there likes me. Now, well, let's do this. Please. I forgot he had first strike on that, that was my bad.
Let's bring out... I should put it on the 10th Street. But. Hopefully this is game. This guy played a good one, though. I don't think he can stop the flyer, though. He's got, so he's got to have some removal. See, what he should do is pay the one, sacrifice, so that he gains a life. It's not going to help him, though. I'll be kind. Yeah. Phoenix is ridiculous. Well, not ridiculous. It's just a very good enough card to do something. Four flyers. Does it get trample? Yeah, it's got trample. You're dead, dude. There's nothing you can do. Yep, this is block unblockable. Yeah, you're dead. One damage will definitely get through. Yeah, that's what I really like about it. Don't get me wrong, he's playing a white and black deck, and if I hadn't taken so many of his cards, he could have really made it a mess. So he can stop four damage. Ooh, okay then. Yeah, but I'm still doing first strike damage. You're not doing any damage to me, dude. Vigilance lifelink flying. That gets first block. So he's going to kill it. Up. Yep, he got me. I played that wrong. I totally played that wrong. He had it in indestructible. That was my fault. That's totally my fault. Oh, what do we get in Mastery Pass? Let's see what we got here. All right, my mastery tree. Well, let's see. We've been playing around with the red, right? Because I want to get annex, right? Well, I got annex. 
Oh yeah, I wanted to get to Thassa. This is so stupid, by the way. But what are you going to do? Alright. Well, that was a lot of fun, but I think my wife is just about to wake up from her little nappy nap, and I should go make her dinner. Alright, guys. Hey, dude, Corgi, it was really fun hanging out with you, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just shut off for a little while. I'm going to go make some dinner and start my Saturday night because, you know, I have a, things to do. But, dude, if you want, tune in Monday night. We'll be on the air on Facebook. You can catch us. Look at Planes Talkers Podcast. Uh, for the rest of you out there, if you're catching us, thanks for watching. We'll talk to you guys later. Take care.